Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. Uh, what I got for you today is um, some service or maintenance or repair maybe on a couple of floor jacks that I've got. These are uh, Craftsman 50240 jacks that I got about, oh, I want to say six years ago, six or seven years ago. Um, this one always leaked a little, well it didn't always leak a little bit, but it started leaking after I had it for a couple of years. This one never leaked, but it recently stopped lifting. Um, it will lift a little bit of weight, but it won't lift uh, the weight that it's supposed to. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, what I did is I went and got some uh, jack oil. There's my jack oil there. So I'm going to put jack oil in the one that leaks because I'm sure it needs it. If you if you look at the the size of the cylinder look at the size of the cylinder on this and, and that's got a ram inside of the cylinder so there's not a lot of room for oil. I figure there might be five or six or eight ounces of oil in there at the most. Um, so I'm sure after leaking for, uh, for at least four years that the oil has gone, oil level has gone down a little bit. And this jack oil that I got has some stop leak in there. The stop leak is usually something that will react with a rubber o-ring or will react with rubber in a way that it makes the rubber swell a little bit. It's probably a very small um, quantity of oil. Uh, not oil, but of, of a chemical in here that will uh, make this, the seal swell a little bit. So it's kind of a bubba fix, but you know, what the heck. And I'm not going to uh, tear the whole thing apart for just a little bitty leak, and I probably couldn't get the parts for it anyway. And if I could get the parts, they'd probably cost me more than buying a new jack. So <laughs> that's the way tool repair goes these days, apparently. Uh, so anyway, this, this is where you fill it right here. I'm going to take a screwdriver and open that up and uh, let's see if we can see what the level is. Take a rag and wipe around the, uh, the uh, fill uh, screw before you take it out. You don't want anything falling down in there, any debris or dirt or anything, uh, because that could further mess up your seals in there. Now I can see uh, no oil over that inside uh, uh, cylinder uh, which has a piston inside it so I know I need to add oil uh, so here we go let's add some okay uh, I'm adding some oil uh, doing it slow because like I said there's not a lot of volume in there uh, but I bet you it takes at least three or four ounces uh, so I'm not going to show you the whole time I fill it but uh, that's this is where it's going in well, there's how much it took. I, I, I didn't show you a before picture, but I would guess it was about up to there. Uh, so, you know, maybe a couple of shot glasses full, maybe uh, four ounces of oil. And now it's, uh, it's filled up to the top. Let me show you. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but it's right at the bottom of the, the threads. Uh, so I'm going to cap that back up and call it a day on this one. We'll go to the other one. Uh, before I finish up with this one, uh, I'm going to do a few other things. I'm going to shoot some grease, some uh, not light oil. I want uh, something. Oops, I think I overfilled it a little bit. I see some fluid on the on the ground. Uh, that's okay. What I'm going to do is uh, grease these wheels, and especially this roller in the front. You'd be surprised. Uh, how nice these jacks will roll around if they're not bound up. And I'm also going to grease this universal here and a little bit uh, around that shaft there, although I think it probably doesn't do anything if I shoot grease there. Uh, but I'm just going to grease it up a little bit. I like white grease for this, uh, white lithium grease. It, uh, I think it'll stick a little better than, than oil, just oiling them.
they're not going to show you the whole thing but I'll just give it a shot everywhere that I point it out and then we're done yeah that's going to roll around nice okay that one's all set let's take a look at the other one uh, just one final quick tip on that uh, I should probably put a little more bumper on this so it doesn't hit the side of the car comes with a little bit of that but you can get uh, so from uh, Home Depot or Lowe's you can get that pipe wrap that they use pipe insulation wrap and you can put some of that on there uh, the other thing is when you tighten this up and loosen it up you don't have to be a gorilla um, just a little bit tight and easy loose and that part inside there will last longer and my experience has been that this is where they leak from this is called the power unit or the power module um, and you know what instead of taking this one apart I already checked it and I found that it's low on fluid also I recall only I thought only one of them was leaking but uh, who knows I'm just going to top this off with fluid here before I take all this apart this is the release and along with the release there's probably a over over under uh, an over pressurized relief valve which means if you try to lift up five tons with a 1.5 ton jack it's not going to let you do that it'll bleed the fluid out but I'm just going to I'm going to make an assumption that this one might just be low on fluid too so I'm going to top off the fluid same as the other one I'm going to lube it all up and uh, see if it works before I start taking apart anymore okay well, let's see how much fluid this one takes that's that's where we're at right now well that one uh, we started out about there and it gets a little wider so I would say we put in about the same amount in there which is uh, oh, I'm calling it four ounces um, so I'm gonna go and try this one now let's see if it uh, before it would jack up about hmm, oh jack up about eight inches and then it would stop even though I could keep pumping it wouldn't jack all the way so let's go try it. okay we uh, <clears throat> we're putting it under the back of the Corvette and that's 3,000 pound car so if I lift half of it that's 1500 so I'm actually right about at where you know the limit of this jack is supposed to be probably I should have got a two-ton jack but yeah I wasn't thinking anyway here we go that's about where I could get it before and then it was hitting the bypass and it wouldn't let me jack up anymore so now, I'm going to see if I can put the camera down because I need two hands. Here we go. I don't know if this is going to come out or not. That's past where it was before. I can I can hear the the spoiler scraping on the front. So I think I fixed it. I uh, just needed a jack oil. Uh, so sorry I couldn't get into more of the guts of this uh, hydraulic ram unit. But there's also the possibility if I had gotten into it that I wouldn't have had the parts to fix it anyway. So there's a a little tune up your jacks video from froggy um, don't be afraid to top off your jack oil and we'll we'll see whether it stops leaking or not both you know one or both of them stop leaking because the new jack fluid has some sealing uh, magic sealing uh, properties to it anyway <laughs> um, there you go if this helps you out give me a thumbs up you want more from froggy subscribe to my channel it's free See ya.